Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So here's a quick update regarding the recent CSI net exam which has happened and regarding the result and regarding the uh, e-certificate or the certificate for that particular exam. All right. So this is the official website of CSIR. This is csirhrdg.res.in. I will give you link to reach out to this particular website in the description of this video. So, so you can directly come up over here, right? So if you go to this news and announcement section, so this is the overall website, right? If you come a little down and go to this news and announcement section and go to this news section, here is the first link which says that qualifying certificate of June 2020 joined CSIR UGC net exam. Once you click on this, you will be able to download a PDF file which is going to look something like this. Now this is a notice which has been uh, released today itself. It says that qualified candidates whose roll numbers are listed in part one of the result. That means those who are CSIR, JRF, LS and JRF only. Okay. So if you see the result section, okay, let me show you that. So if you see the result, this is the section one or this is the part one of the result where it says uh, CSIR, JRF net. So if your roll number comes over here or the section two of it, which is uh, if I come a little down in the result itself, yeah, not this. This is the second part, not this. Okay. These are not included. Yeah, this one, the candidates, those whose roll number listed below are qualified for um, JRF only. Okay, so those whose roll number are till here, till here and from starting. Okay, so these many candidates are uh, the one whom this notice is about. Okay, again, I'm telling that this notice is not about you if your roll number is in this category that is uh, JRF net UGC or under this category which is uh, net only okay so one more will be there let me come a little down in the result so i think i missed it somewhere yeah basically that is the section three of it okay yeah here it is so that's section three which is lecturership or net so if your roll number is here also then also this notice is not for you this notice is only for those whose roll number is in part one of the result they are requested to send self-attested photocopy of the following documents. Now, what are those documents? The first document is their copy of mark sheet, that is a scorecard, which you have, you, which you must have downloaded by now. Second thing is your 10th class certificate. Take a, a Xerox of it and make it self-attested. This will be, this will work as a proof of date of birth. Then your degree or provisional certificate of qualifying exam. If you are in MSc qualified already, then a degree of that. If you are about to qualify it, if you are in the final year of it, then provide the provisional certificate of that. Okay, if you have got the provisional certificate. In case if you are in the result result awaited category, it will like they have mentioned about that also. So don't worry about it. Then the fourth document is final mark sheet with the required percentage of marks. So that means minimum marks is 55% or I think 60% for MSc. So that uh, MSc mark sheet is what they are asking. Fifth is your CGP, SGP, OGP, CPI conversion formula. So if that conversion formula is there, if you are getting CGPA or SGPA, you must be having a conversion formula which will be given by your university or your institute. So that also you have to include. Okay. Next thing is purification of marks period in case of dual degree. So if you have a dual degree, that means if you are uh, uh, if you are doing integrated MSc or you are doing BSMS course, in that case you have to uh, support or you have to give purification of marks. That means up to what period you have done masters, up to what period you are doing bachelors, like that. Then if you have applied under some caste uh, reservation, then you should have caste certificate. Uh, if you have applied under OBC category, then OBC caste certificate and that should be given in the NCBC format, which is the national government format, which you will find out on this particular website, right? You can check it out over there. Appendix one will be there. Then the Vyang or PWD candidates, they should submit their certificate as per government of India rules, EWS category certificate is also required if you have followed and if you have filled the form under this category now the main thing that candidates who have applied under result awaited category that is msc or equivalent should submit the required document only after completion completion of their requisite uh, qualification so if you are let's say in the final uh, like semester of your masters so complete your semesters get your uh, like mark sheet at least and then you can apply or then you can send the documents to csir okay whatever documents are being asked, you have to send it after that. So right now, those who are in result awaited category, they also don't have to send anything. They have to just wait for their degree to get uh, like completed. 
Candidates are required to send the above mentioned document to post. Uh, this is the address they have given you or you can also send by email to this particular. Thing. I will suggest you to post or email both. Okay. Send email also that will be like a digital copy and send them by post as well. Post will reach after few days and this uh, email will reach uh, simultaneously. Right. Candidates while sending their documents by post must superscribe on the envelope that documents for the June 2022 CSIR JRF LS part 1 result net exam and their roll number. So this much thing you have to write down on the top of the envelope. Make a A4 sheet uh, envelope. There are A4 envelopes. Make a bigger like they are bigger in size and don't fold the papers. Okay. All the document don't fold them. Just put them as it is self attested copies. Just put them as it is. The qualified candidates candidates whose document upon verification are found to be in order and can be downloaded their certificate from this website. They are telling that if you if you have qualified and if your certificates are found to be in order, everything is fine, then they will upload your certificate on this particular website. All right. Now, qualified candidates whose roll number are listed in part two and part three. Now, this is for those whom I have just cancelled out, right? Part two and part three of the result. So they may contact UGC or NTA for e certificate. Remember that right now UGC has not up, like. Uh, updated your certificate so you have to wait for that you don't have to actually uh, contact they have just said ki you have to wait for them okay contact UGC or UGC will take care of you okay CSR is not going to take care of them okay e-certificate will be issued based on the information available on the online application of June 2022 uh, CSR net exam therefore candidates are requested not to send request of any sort of correction in e-certificate so if E certificate is made that E certificate will depend upon what you have filled in the form. Depending upon that only E certificate will be made and it is computer generated. So it, there will be no error over there. So that's what they are telling ki you, you should not send request to make changes in your E certificate. Right. So this is about the whole notice which was announced by CSIR recently. I thought to make a detailed video so that you get to know about it. And in case if you are if your roll number is falls under the first uh, part of the result, please do the needful apply for it so that you'll get your certificate as soon as possible that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care hey guys so i teach live on an academy plus platform here i teach for the csi ugc net category and you can follow me over here for regular classes you can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform the classes which are free you can get that under the section of special classes whereas in order to access my paid classes paid live classes you have to take an academy plus subscription so do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized the whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there so make sure that you take an academy plus subscription by using my referral code that is N underscore Huda. That's it for this. Thank you so much.